Uh, hi guys, in this video we are going to see why 400 hertz 15 volt 115 volt 400 hertz used in aircraft power supply. Okay, so uh, let's get into the topic. Yeah, before that I would like to uh, request you if you have any interesting uh, electronics questions, electrical related questions you want to get resolved and if you have any uh, problem, circuit problems uh, to be resolved, I would like to happy to share, uh, help those uh, things. Okay, so please share with me, let me uh, help those things. Yeah, this is one of the uh, comment in a, uh, one of our previous video we got it. Uh, so this question so that's why i'm uh, answering this question so um, yeah let's get into the topic yeah we are going to see why 400 hertz is getting used to why 105 volt is used to what is feaa so yeah this the flow uh, this uh, diagram is showing in we we already have one more uh, previous video why uh, 50 hertz used in some part of the world and 60 hertz 105 volt is getting used in some other part of the world like us link is in the description you can check it out that one yeah so yeah uh, why this much high frequency is used in this uh, aircraft power system that's why we are going to see it here why 400 hertz why not uh, some part of the world it is uh, 60 hertz some part of the world is 50 hertz right why not this uh, those things are not getting used and why 400 hertz and before that why power is required in aircraft what are the various reasons what are the various areas it is required i just listed out few things like lighting systems is required for uh, heating purpose it is required so various uh, passenger service units so those kind of things it is required so to provide this one we are using high frequency that means 400 hertz we are using so the main reason for that one is it requires a smaller transformers okay that means the core size is smaller so the, uh, every cycle the transformer uh, core per cycle is less okay so it what is the advantage for that one so the smaller transformer core which leads to a uh, less weight right so if it's a less weight carrying that uh, those weight uh, in a flight that means it is a less fuel is going to be uh, going to be wasted right that's the reason so the very high frequency that means 400 frequency we are getting used to ensure the transformer sizes that uh, core sizes are uh, becoming a smaller and which ultimately leads to a lesser fuel okay so but here high frequency why that exactly 400 hertz that one question you may have it right so why it's not uh, more than that 400 hertz it's uh, like 10 kilohertz even 20 kilohertz or 1 megahertz also high frequency right how we are saying that 400 hertz itself we we limit those things the reason is for that one is if we keep increasing the frequency to ensure some of the what are the benefits we are seeing the lesser core size right so some stage the skin effect will start so what is the skin effect and uh, that is uh, beyond scope of this video let us uh, focus on only our uh, question only so when keep on increasing the uh, frequency the skin effect will start and the effective utilization effective utilizing area of the conductor will keep decreasing okay if it is keep decreasing the transmission loss will increase right the resistance it will increase the resistance so that's why it's, we are not keep on increasing into uh, further uh, higher frequency and that FAA Federation of uh, Avi uh, Aviation Agency so they it's it's a standard actually okay so like uh, ISI standard IEC for AEQ so for automotive those kind of uh, industry every industry have the uh, approving agency so like FAA Federation of Aviation Agencies so during the initial days it's a uh, we set it as a 400 hertz so here uh, one more thing is how we can minimize uh, this high because of from 60 hertz to uh, 400 hertz we are going to face some uh, disadvantages right so how we are going to mitigate those things the few of the uh, expected losses will be eddy current loss may increase or copper loss will increase okay so how we can uh, decrease those things that's why i listed out here the eddy current loss can be minimized by maintaining a thin laminations right that core can be maintained in term, uh, we can make this a th uh, laminations to eliminate the eddy current losses and 
the copper loss can be minimized with high electrical conductivity uh, materials like copper so ultimately uh, we can if you have if you face this question in any of the interviews so you have to keep remainder uh, one thing that frequency is indirectly proportional to the flux okay so if frequency is keep increasing the flux is uh, becoming less for lesser flux uh, smaller size core is required okay the smaller size core means less weight and which is the ideal for the aircraft that's the reason 400 hertz is getting used this is the thing uh, uh, you have to answer in those interviews if you are getting faced with this question interview yeah that's all uh, as of uh, now guys about this and uh, i like us I, as usual i requesting you please subscribe and uh, uh, please provide your comments if you have any questions maybe a consecutive weekend i'll uh, try to answer those questions yeah yeah take care guys yeah bye